So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your microphone icon on your Samsung Galaxy keyboard just isn't showing up or it's not popping up at all. Now luckily for you this is a pretty basic thing to go and fix. So what you're going to want to start off by doing is you want to make your way over into some sort of text box. So you can see right here I have my text box right here and you can see that is just a standard keyboard. Well if we take a look at the bottom you can see that I can eventually find my particular microphone icon. So you can see it's right underneath in the bottom left on my stock keyboard, right at the bottom left here. So what you want to do to start off, you just want to try to find that keyboard and the microphone icon somewhere. So you can see right here, it's right there at the very bottom. Now, if I didn't have this gesture-based keyboard design right here, then it wouldn't really show up. So if it's missing, number one, you just want to make sure maybe you just need the gestures on and you can do this within your settings application. So hop inside of settings, go inside of your display option, which is right over here. So tap into display, and you want to go ahead and just turn on your particular you know, gesture. So where it says navigation bar, you may want to go in from swipe gestures, you may want the buttons. Because if I go and go back, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes that microphone icon won't show up right there. You can see it shows up right here, but sometimes it may just glitch up, so you may just want to switch in between. Now if you do that and that's still not working, another thing you can try doing is going inside of your Samsung keyboard settings, which is right here. And what you want to do here is you want to go and scroll down until you see reset to default settings. So when it's happened to here, and what you're going to want to do is you can start off with clearing cache. So you can go through and clear cache right there. So give it a second clear and see if that works. You can also go ahead and erase personalized touch recognition, erase personalized settings, and reset keyboard settings. You may just want to go and reset the keyboard settings, and you want to see if that ends up fixing the problem for you, which for some people, that might be another thing you may want to try doing. Now if you do that and that is still not working, another thing you can try doing for the most part is temporarily using a different keyboard. So if it's still not working, you can try updating your phone and stuff, but there's also other keyboards that you can download, you know, keyboards like Gboard or other keyboards like, you know, like such. So you can just go ahead and install these other keyboards and that, again, may end up you know, fixing the problem temporarily. So those are the main ways to fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.